Hello, this is an ultra polish, but I wanted to share my rock formation tool. I started with a couple of flat irregular discs and put them into a collection. I made a shape for my formation, a pillar, an arch, don't worry, you can change it later. Add a geometry notes modifier on it, drop in your collection with the elements, tick all boxes here, select relative and use an instance on points node to spawn some discs. I want more points, so I'll use distribute points on faces. When I set it to Poisson Disc, I get this handy distance min slider. I'll increase the density, so I don't have to think about it anymore, and merely influence the amount of points with the minimum distance. I want enough discs to have a cohesive object with no gaps, but not so many that it becomes a uniform mass. I'll take two random vector values to influence rotation and scale for my instances. The rotation should be mainly around the z-axis. If you rotate the other two axes, only do it slightly. I'll give the discs a random chance to become slimmer, but not lower. Mesh to volume, volume to mesh. Set both to size. I decrease both voxel sizes to 0.1 meter. Was this a strange new way for subdivision? No. Get a real nice instances node and plug it before those two. And now magic happened and we remeshed the individual pieces into a single mesh. I use a noise texture as a position offset for some displacement. As always, a mix RGB node in linear light mode functions as a dial. Shade it smooth and set a material. Now the modeling part is done, obviously feel free to modify it if you need. If you want to play around with your underlying mesh, it's a good practice to deactivate the modifier in preview so it doesn't lag. Lastly, I created two outputs for texturing. In one I plugged the face area node that returns a value based on the size of the face. In the other I connected an edge angle node to generate cavity. Don't forget to name your newly created attributes in the output section of the modifier. I don't know how good y'all are with materials. Worst case scenario, use some image texture from the web. If you want to have a better explained deeper dive into texturing, let me know in the comments. For now, a quick fire round. I used Musgrave on Multifractal to mix two shades of brown. I squished the Musgrave a little so it reflects a layery feeling. Onto that, I added my cavity attribute for the worn edges. Onto that, I multiplied a face area. I had to go back into geometry nodes and multiply the value a little as it was very low. Now, I grab the faces that point upwards. I got them by separating the Z value of a normal node. I use an ambient occlusion node to darken some valleys and an inside out ambient occlusion node to brighten up some looser stones. I separate the z-axis of some generated coordinates for a gradient across the model. Now I distort a Voronoi with the same linear light and noise texture trick everyone knows and talks about, set it to type F2 and get a rocky bump map. For good measure I'll also multiply it onto the color. I also plug the color into a specular and increase the roughness. Now you can easily make a cave and convince some Roman idiot that it could safely store Jesus' corpse or something. Good outro there. Poisson disc. Poisson, poisson disc. Poisson disc.